Okay, so I cleaned out the fridge and the freezer this morning. I did have to get rid of quite a bit. It is so hard to learn how to shop and cook for two people, but also prep and be stocked up so I don't have to go shopping much because I do not like to go into stores at all. But anyway, show you what's happening. I gotta go shopping. Let me see here if I can. There you go. Regina, you would be proud of me. I do have my priorities. I do have plenty of coffee creamers and I have coffee, so, you know, it's okay. We're safe. Okay, so my pantry is still really well stocked. I really don't need anything for the pantry, but we're going to go over to the commissary, which is our military grocery store. So if they have some deals, I will go ahead and stock up. The more I have in here, the less often I have to go to the store, better for me. So yeah, there we go. Oh, that um, purple rice I had in a grocery haul. I don't know if you see it there. I made it the other night and my husband loved it. I thought it had like, I liked it too. I thought it had like an earthy flavor to it really good so let's see is that everything all right like I say let's go shopping let's stock up there's my bad diet sodas down there I know that's bad okay I know it's dark but if I put this light on that's up here it's going to cast a very weird shadow so we'll do the best we can we did go shopping we ended up going to the commissary, which is our military grocery store, and it was rather disappointing. There were a lot of bare shelves, there wasn't a lot of produce to pick from, and prices are just, they continue to go up, but I think that's every store. But anyway, we go there because when we need to get meats, usually the meats are a better price and we can get what we need. I don't know, things just didn't really look that great, but I did get quite a bit. So let me just get going real quick. I did put the produce and frozen things away already, but maybe I'll take them out real quick to show you because I always love to see people's grocery hauls. I don't know what it is, but all right, let me do this quick. I don't want to talk too long. I got two of my nacho cheese taco. My husband likes the soft shells and I like the crunchy nacho cheese shells, so we got two of those. I got some, well, what, what's the brand? Roland chocolate tartlets, yummy. My husband, he always gets his saltine crackers. We got a few packages of our pepperoni to stock up on. I got two boxes of the almond brie, sorry for the glare. The Almond Breeze Unsweetened Chocolate Milk. Yum. I don't usually get this, but I was feeling crunchy munchy. So I got some Cashy Organic Cinnamon Harvest Cereal. We got a bag of red potatoes. Red potatoes. We got a package of hamburger and hot dog rolls. We didn't get hamburgers or hot dogs, but we do have the makings for hamburger. We got a box of rigatoni. This is my favorite brand of pasta. We got some penne and we got two boxes of spaghetti. We got four jars of Newman's own marinara. Boy, that lighting is really off. But if I don't have that ring light back there, then it's completely dark. I got a box of cake mix. I was thinking of making a St. Louis style ooey gooey butter cake, but then I shouldn't make it because then I'll eat it. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe if I make some friends and have them over, I'll make it. Got chocolate cake mix because it was a dollar, so that was a good deal. I needed some cooking oil. I use, I use olive oil for pretty much everything, but when you're baking and it calls for oil, I don't like to use olive oil because of the taste. It, I, to me, it messes up baked goods, unless you're making an olive oil cake. 
I got some of my favorite tuna, which four cans of tuna, and it was, I think it was 15 or 16 dollars, US dollars. I don't know what that is anywhere else, but it's a lot. It's a whole lot for four cans of tuna. I got my Duke's Mayo. I'm on a Pop-Tart kick. I got cherry pomegranate Pop-Tarts. I do not need those. My husband likes this tuna. He likes the Star Kiss Wild Albuquerque. We got three of those. I got a pack of Starbucks Frappuccinos Mocha. And I thought I'll just put some ice in the Vitamix blender and mix that up and that'll be like a nice frozen treat. I got my water, my seasonings for my seasonings, my flavoring for water. I like that. The little tropical punch. I never get this. I always get the creamer, creamer kind, but I got the powdered coffee mate, coffee. That is really annoying, I don't know. I'm sorry, all right. I got the better than bouillon, chicken. A can of chickpeas, garbanzo beans. We got four cans of Hunt's no salt tomato sauce for pizzas. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Fig spread, this is a big jar, but I make those um, I have, a, I have a video showing me making them, I think on a Tea Tuesday, the oat bars, and I usually fill it like with the raspberry or strawberry preserves, but I thought, oh, fig, that will be really good. This is a huge jar, but I told my husband I can make extra and we can freeze them and we'll have those. So, I don't know, impulse buy. Some raw, unfiltered honey. I wanna make a chicken dish one night and I will share it with you when I make it. I wanted some Frank's hot sauce, but they only had the large bottles. I don't need a large bottle, so I got Texas Pete. Texas Pete is okay. I got my lemon juice. I like this Italian volcano lemon juice. My Herbox chicken bouillon, a couple boxes of those, the no sodium. I use this on everything. I got three boxes of Donut Shop Coffee K-Cups. I have a question for y'all. So in my guest room, instead of putting a regular hand towel, I keep a box of these disposable hand towels. So you open the box and you pop one out. Every time someone comes over and they use that bathroom, they come out of the bathroom doing this, like I didn't have a towel in there. And they're like, oh, you didn't have a towel. And I'm like, this is it. Like, if you see this right by the sink and there's a barrel you can throw it in and it's popped up and it says hand towels right on it. I just thought this would be more sanitary and easier for a guest bathroom so I don't have to worry about cleaning the towels in there. I don't know. I mean, it's not just one person. It's like anyone who comes over and uses that bathroom doesn't touch these. I don't understand it. Would you know, tell me, would you know if you saw this by the sink? It's popped up. It's like, like a tissue box, but there's soap, there's this. I've shared my guest bathroom how I stocked it up. So it's there. Some deodorant for my husband some Lysol bathroom foaming cleaner. It's loud. Some no yolks, egg noodles. My, I got the lavender, I hope. Yeah, lavender pledge, multi-surface cleaner. Did I say two boxes of snuggles? Two boxes of snuggles some toilet cleaner, we got laundry cleaner. Instead of moving the camera, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work out here. Some red delicious apples. Some strawberry sunset, strawberry kiwi, pineapple flavored, bubbly water. I don't know why I do this because 
it tastes good, but they've been so, car but you know what? The bubbly, I don't think is as carbonated as the LaCroix ones. So I just let it sit out so the bubbles go down. I also got 12 pack of Diet Pepsi, a 12 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper. That's that. All right, let's go. I'll just, instead of taking everything out of the fridge and freezer, I'll just take you there. That'll be okay. Easy. Welcome to my refrigerator and freezer. You can see what we got. I love to see what people get. I don't know why. I get ideas. I think that might be why. All right. So it doesn't look like a whole lot. Let's see. We got some mushrooms. We got we got some eggs. I got some Velveeta sharp cheddar for tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches because that is comfort food. I always say I'm going to make that and I almost never do. Let's see. We got celery. Can you take a guess yet how much I've spent? We got a cucumber. We got one red onion. Yep, that's all we got for the refrigerator. Now the freezer. That's where my back's going to get a workout here. I got, oh, it's going to be really crinkly. We got some frozen mixed vegetables. I got two of those. Two deluxe broccoli florets. Is it the baby? Yeah, the baby broccoli florets. I like the baby broccoli and the baby lima beans. We got one bag of that. One whole green bean. One green pea. Two Brussels sprouts. And that's it for veggies. Uh, you know, the important stuff, Tillamook coffee, almond fudge ice cream, Kiki, keep your mom and dad away from my ice cream. All right, Kiki will get that. Hash browns instead of fries. Sometimes we like to do scrambled eggs and like tater tots or something for dinner, that simple of a dinner. So I got this for that instead. Attic for fish sandwiches. Pork chops and applesauce. Pork chops. Chicken thighs for chicken and dumplings and for a chicken dish that I'm gonna share. Maybe if I remember to do it, sometimes I think after I made something, oh, I meant to do that. But it's so good and I want to share it. Another, whoops, another thing of chicken thighs. Thin sliced chicken breasts. Make chicken cutlets. Ground chicken. If anyone tried my ground chicken pizza crust, I might do that one night, or I'll make a meatloaf with it, or meatballs with it. I like the ground chicken. I do not like ground turkey. Ground turkey has a weird taste to me. I like turkey, right? But not ground turkey. Let's see. I got this to cut up for a beef stew. Whoa, whoa, I almost fell over. Oh, that would have been a blooper. Just a little steak. I cut it up for what did I say? Beef stew. <laughs> We've got some cube steak. Sometimes I like cube steak. Make it like with the cream of mushroom soup or something. And in the crock pot. Easy peasy dinner. Cheap. Cheap, cheap. And two ground beefs. So, 
I had this all nice and neat, but I took it out to show you because that's the kind of friend I am. Now it's messy. All right, so I went shopping. And I don't want to have to go shopping again for a long time. I really do not like going shopping. But for the most part, people were like funny weird in the store today. There was just like some crazy things happening. Like some man was looking at the meats and then he forgot his cane. And then there was this one woman who was, she was after the chicken. She was worried about me grabbing some chicken, I guess. I didn't get that much, but she was filling up her cart. I mean, compared to the other stores, again, the commissary prices on meats are less expensive, I guess. Um, and they didn't have a whole lot, so she was nervous, I guess. I don't know. But that's it. All right. <sighs> Shopping haul done. Everyone have a wonderful day, and I will check in later. We have a meatloaf in the oven that my husband actually made. I'm going to take a peek at it. Hold on. How's it looking? Oh, wow. Let me show you. He never, never cooks. Guys, he never cooks, but he made the meatloaf, so I am going to show it somehow. Hold on. Okay, that's not looking too shabby to me. He doesn't cook, and... I think he can cook. I think he chooses not to, or he's afraid to try, but that is not looking too bad at all. So, meatloaf for dinner. That's what's for dinner.